to Aria's Corner. Today I want to tell you some basic ways to be healthy and brush your teeth properly to be clean. And I'm also going to show you my bed, pretty, with fun toys, nice things, and this is the bathroom. We're going to get ready for bed. Guys, you all to remember dental health is really good for you. And you must take really good care of you and brush your teeth round and round, not side to side. Remember. And I'm going to show you some three ways to show it. First, we need to brush. Then we need to floss. Then we need to water floss. And then your teeth will be shining bright. Everyone will be like, is this you? And it will be like like sparkling. Even the dentist will be like, oh my god, who is this? <laughs> they won't realize you you have came to the dentist office before. Or if, if, if you came to the dentist office before, if you're the same person, the dentist will know with you at all. Now start brushing. First we need to take a brush, put some paste, and if your teeth are big, like, and remember, we need to do some floss and water floss. First, we're going to put some paste. Close the paste. Oops, I forgot. I didn't put enough paste. But you shouldn't put paste too much, just a pinch. Let me show you. Here and here. Done. Make your mouth first like wet. Let's get some water. There, done and done. But the whole thing is not done yet. You should not, like, you should brush very gently, not like so tight like this. No. Brush like this. This is how you should brush. Your teeth will be sparkling and the brush will not wear out quickly. This is a new floss. It's really new. Really special, good for dental teeth. 
It's good for dental. But this is not good. Let me show you how to fill a water floss. Now let's take the bowl. Uh, uh, uh. It is sticky. Let's just get it our or let's take it out. You that bowl was sticky. Now let's pour some water. That's enough water. That should be enough for tomorrow. Actually, no. We'll pour some more water and fresh water tomorrow. Now close the lid. Yeah. Here. Now it's time for floss. to the dentist really often I'm telling you please brush carefully with paste and the paste should be at least antibacterial for our teeth or like germs can go away or bacteria can go away for that paste like this one this one is antibacterial paste and it keeps us from harmful microbes living on our teeth Guys, remember, part two, the floss. You should change your floss every day. I ch changed my floss. And remember, your floss is to clean off the, like, what's stuck in your teeth in between. And it takes whenever, like, the, you can see with the floss is um, thin, like, thin layer. It might be thin, but a really strong and thin layer of um thread is tied on then you can see with the floss whenever you're done and please remember to change your floss again and again every time you use it guys remember blood can come out of your teeth sometimes when you 
flaws, but that's okay. But it's just bad news. And you must take the blood away. The blood is really dangerous for our teeth. And that is bacteria. That can get stuck in our teeth many times, and you can even be seen by the dentist. The dentist can take it off for you, or you can take it off for yourself, or your parent. But blood doesn't mean it's like, like bad. It, of course it's bad because it's bacteria. But blood can like, like be... Guys, remember, you need to do floss to take out the excess out of your teeth here. And always remember to do these routines which I'm telling you right now. Part two. And part three now is the stationary water floss. The water floss is a floss what can, like, like the floss sometimes get, like, bacteria. Size. Part three, the water floss. My mom uses high pressure of water, like, we brush our teeth. We floss our teeth, but sometimes you have little holes in your teeth and little edges where the flosses can't even get, or the edges of the floss. The water floss can help you because it's high water pressure. It can take all the excess out because there's such good pressure in it and light. My gums are really sensitive, so I only use for four. There's like layers of like numbers on here to tell you how like how this is two four six eight and ten so if you go to ten it's really really high pressure not good for your teeth especially if your gums are really sensitive or your teeth guys remember to have good sleep, and if you want to have bad dreams, if you don't want to have bad dreams, please wash your hands. I mean, here, my feet. Let's go in the tub and wash our feet. With cold water. But don't think I'm doing a bath in here. It's not bath time right now. We're going to rub our feet so all the germs come out. <laughs> now let's turn it off. Our water should be cold, not hot. Then it will be like, ah, it will be roasting when you're afraid, like sleeping. Let's turn Guys, remember, I have to. You always comb your hair before bed. The blood circulation of our head will get better. I'll comb my hair. I'll take off my rubber band and comb it. My hair might look a bit messy right now, but it's just bedtime. It doesn't matter. The daytime is the time, and it matters. Because you might need to go to school at daytime and you don't want looking like a bear or a tiger or something. It doesn't matter when you're out. Like, like it is a bit funny, but don't want, I don't want your classmates laughing at you and making fun of you. Especially your teachers like laughing on their heads. <laughs> so better comb your hair night and day. It'll make your blood circulation in your head better. Comb whenever you're free. I comb all the time. Just to make sure my hair stays nice. <laughs> I use even my fingers. Guys, now it's time for bed. Now Moon will come to pick me up the stars or the fairy. And then I'm going to play chess, Ludo, or party games. And my dreams. But actually, to... The moon will actually take you. The actually dreams are the places which the mama takes you. I mean the moon. <laughs> Come, I'll show you my bed. Uh oh, I have to go in my room. I for I completely forgot to change my clothes. Here I come! Ta da! Where's my nighttime clothes? Now it's time to go to sleep. Let's go. I'll show you my fairy potter when I'm dreaming. You can look at it too. Let's go. 
Wait to see a surprise, guys. awesome time of the year and now look here are my nice little friends to join me at the sleepover tonight and white This place is awesome and good for sleeping too. Now it's my bedtime. See you tomorrow morning. I will show you my video tomorrow and I will show you my whole day again. Bye! And say goodnight to my toys. Oh, it's so tiring today. I, I had lots of fun with you guys, but now it's time to sleep. Ciao! Bye! Guys.